here from San Diego. This is Michelle from London, London and Italy, LaShawn. Okay. Uh, coach, I guess first couple, you know, your season, obviously a story of season, nothing to be ashamed of. Um, what, are your, what are your thoughts right now on the accomplishments of this group? Uh, that's, that was what we talked about right now in the locker room is that I know that they don't get to enjoy everything that they've accomplished. You know, I don't think we've taken the time, and we shouldn't, we shouldn't have taken the time in the middle of the season to enjoy all the things that we had accomplished before, because uh, we had bigger and greater plans. Uh, I'm not sure when it'll sink in, what they've done. Uh, these four guys up here, uh, they've set a bar and standard that uh, anything below this is unacceptable for our basketball program at this point on. Uh, and that'll be, a, that'll be a rule. Not an expectation, it's a rule. Um, anything less than this is absolutely unacceptable from this point on. I think that's something that they can pat themselves on the back with, uh, something they should be proud of. Uh, you know, like we talked about, we had two season ending injuries. Uh, you know, and I will celebrate our accomplishments in a month or so. Um, you know, but they have nothing to be disappointed about. Um. It seems like it, it almost is a natural progression. You can't really go from never being in the playoffs. Or you, I guess you can, but you know, never from never being in the playoffs before to all of a sudden winning the whole thing. Uh, that's a hard thing to do because uh, yeah. you kind of have to be there before and experience it before you can kind of go all the way. Usually, yeah. um, is this just kind of a do you see this as kind of a natural progression now, where now you've got a lot of underclassmen that have been in this scenario before? So next year they can be the next group. They know what to expect, and they can kind of pick it up from here. I think if I if I agree with that, I'd be shortchanging these four young women up here, and they'd probably beat me up when I left. Um, yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, if I'm any coach in the country, yes, I would say this is the natural progression of you know how what it takes to get to be a national champion, uh, but. I guess you have to know the people on my team to really understand uh, that from October 15th when we started practice, uh, we talked about being a national champion and that we wanted to dictate when our season ended and we didn't want to let that be dictated for us. That was our goal and that's how we practice every day. Um, you know, they know, they knew the practices when I told them that they practiced like they were the best team in the country and they knew the practices when they weren't. Um, and maybe we we shot too high, but because of Tizo and London and Julie and LaShawn's goals, if I didn't if I didn't support their goals as a coach, then I I wasn't gonna be doing them justice in their time here with me as my player. Coach, just because in here maybe you can answer about the game plan on guarding Murphy and kinda of had Jessica kinda of play shut down corner on her for most of the game. Uh, you held her well below and I was talking about just that aspect of it and you took her out of the game, but yeah. that canyon. Uh, I mean, we're the best defensive team in the country and I still believe that. I absolutely still believe that. I mean, we held her 14 points. I don't know, uh, maybe you can tell me that was her lowest scoring game this year. Really? Yeah. I mean, and she's the leading scorer in the country. We did everything, right? We did everything absolutely perfect. Uh, but. The name of the game is basketball, and the ball's got to go in the basket. You know, that's that's where we fell short. Uh, credit to Grand Canyon. They they were guns blazing in the second half. Uh, the ball just didn't drop for us. But I uh, there's not a single thing that I would change about our game plan. I think we executed it absolutely perfectly, absolutely perfectly. I have no regrets. Um, what I told these guys in the locker room was that my only regret is that I, I every day I don't get to coach these four seniors. That's my only regret of the whole season. Yes, for any of the girls, um, what was going through your mind in that stretch where I, I've got kind of like it was like twenty something missed shots in a row there when you didn't score? You guys were pounding it in. Was it their defense? Was it? I mean, because it seemed like the referees loved to play it on. It was pretty visible. Uh, you did get a couple of calls. I think when Jessica got belted down there, that was what I. What, what's going through your mind when you're trying so hard and nothing's falling and you're kind of feeling it get away from it? 
I think we've been in a situ- I mean, we've been in situations like that before, and we just have to have confidence in our teammates. And I think our fans help us out a lot. Um, you, can, I mean, there's no regrets. You can't. You just gotta lay it on the floor. And so, I mean, you miss a shot, you gotta keep shooting. Win some low scoring games. And once you get behind by double digits, it doesn't seem like this is a team that scores real fast. You're just kind of working the shot clock and finding that. Yeah. Uh, so, to, you know, you get by double, behind by double digits, does it make it harder because you know that you're used to being this a possession team yeah. and that points don't usually come that fast? You're right on the nail on the head. Uh, this is not a 45 point and a half team. This is a team that plays good old-fashioned basketball where they, they play hard-nosed defense, they execute on offense, uh, but we're not a team that's going to shove it down your throat every possession we get. Uh, 13 points and a half, is, that has happened to us all year. Uh, and I, I thought we got good looks. I thought we were getting pounded on inside. Uh, I thought we got maybe we got 18 boards, you know? Uh, but. You know, they got 25 extra possessions at the free throw line. Uh, and I thought we were aggressive. I did. I thought we were more aggressive in the second half. Um, I know we were getting banged a little bit, but we got to finish. You know, at the end of the day, it's the NCAA tournament. Nobody cares. I'd rather it be a lot of contact than ticky-tack. And I think they would, too. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. But at the end of the day, it's the NCAA tournament. You're one and done, and you've got to be able to